surprise! You're back! I've already set up the TV to record. You don't have anything coming up for the next two days, do you? Recording? What's got you so excited? Don't give me that! Surely you haven't forgotten what day's coming up? Sorry. I got nothing. The Vision Demolition case begins proceedings in a couple of days. Our old buddy Nicole is gonna be on TV representing the Canvas Street residents in court. We can take a little credit for ourselves for helping to expose Vision and its conspiracy. I think it's worth putting the trial on tape. You're thinking we could sell Nicole a copy of the tape, aren't you? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Redo TV is streaming it right now. If you're not doing anything, come watch it with me. Welcome to this special preview of the Vision Demolition Case. I'm reporting to you live from the helicopter pad atop Janus Quarters Security Bureau. In a few moments, Charles Perlman, the accused, the cunning hares representing the citizenry, and others involved in the case, will, as is typical, travel to the new Eridu Supreme Court to await trial via the special court of law airship. The court proceedings will be streamed in full, and citizens are encouraged to follow the proceedings from home. Nicole, the airship is almost here, and you still haven't finished packing. And on that note, Nicole, do you really need to pack so many things for court? What do you know? The whole city's following this case. In other words, it's a chance for us to make a name for ourselves. So, of course, I want to make sure I'm putting my best and prettiest face forward. I'm not kidding. I even printed off some flyers about us to pass around to potential clients out in the gallery. Nicole, that's your phone. Sounds like a message. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Nicole, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Uh-uh! Don't tell me. It's another deck collection message from one of our loan sharks! Nuh-uh! Put a sock in it, Nekomata! We don't owe anybody any money these days. Except for Faithen. And those other five loan sharks. Why are there more decks than last month? Nicole, what's going on? Who's that message from just now? Uh... Hmm? What's going on? Who is that? So many messages. And they're all blank? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Which are all likely to be at the center of debate during the trial. Next, we have a special guest. I thought Perlman's crimes were so outrageous that the trial would be a cakewalk. I never thought they would have to debate over every single detail. No wonder Nicole's been so worried about this case. Faithen! Hello there, proxies. Hey, Nicole, Ambi. What are you two doing here? Nicole, shouldn't you be on your way to catch that airship right now? That was the plan, but I think there's something I need to discuss with you first. Or else I'll be distracted in court! What's going on? What do you want to talk about? Faithen, remember how you asked me a while back to help you track down the hacker Rain? And decrypt the Bellobog Heavy Industries memory unit? Hang on. Are you telling me your conscience has finally overcome you, and you're here to tell us that you two aren't as close as you claimed? Of course not! You can doubt anything about me, but not my connections. Even if Rain is the hottest new thing on Internet, she will still back me up. It's just some weird stuff's been happening to her recently. I smell a conspiracy. I can't say right now whether or not it's a conspiracy. Basically, it's just this. Lots of us who are close with Rain, including me, get messages from her every now and then. But they're all blank. At first, we didn't think anything of it. But then it continued for a couple weeks. And worse, Apart from these messages, it's like she's disappeared into thin air. And it feels like things are getting worse. She used to send one every few days, max. But 
She's already sent five or six this morning. Huh. That does sound strange. Fairy, can you take a look at these messages from Rain and determine whether they really are blank? Of course, Master. Master, analysis confirms these messages contain absolutely no additional content at all. However, the sender's location is not encrypted. After analysis, the coordinates show the messages were sent near the Ballet Twins buildings. Hold on. Did you say the b Ballet Twins? What's wrong, Nicole? You've gone completely pale. Is there something wrong with that building? You must not care much for urban legends, Proxy. The Ballet Twins are a set of two towers, and lately, there have been popular rumors of paranormal events happening there. People say that there's... Quit it, and be enough! <clears throat> uh, anyways, fact of the matter is, those two towers were swallowed up by a hollow years ago. Ordinary people can't transmit data in and out of the hollows like you two. So how could Rain's messages be coming from there? Based on her capabilities, I don't think Fairy would be mistaken. So wise. Seeing as how we're in a hurry to find Rain, and since Nicole is so upset by this, what do you say we go over to the Ballet Twins ourselves to take a look? I agree. There's no way Rain's messages are anything paranormal. Nicole, we'll go check on Rain's location, but we'll likely end up in a hollow. Can you lend us and be in the others? Of course. It's not like I'll need them in court anyway. Oh yeah, this is for you. It might come in handy. Hmm? Hang on, Nicole. The girl carrying the backpack? That's Rain? Huh? Is something wrong? I've seen her. She often comes to our store. Huh. You really can't judge a book by its cover. If you want to talk about hidden identities... Doesn't Faith and use the video store the same way? Hmm. Anyway, I'll leave Rain to you because I've got a blimp to catch. Proxy. I'll take Billy and Nekomata with me. Meet us later near the Ballet Twins. Goodbye. We made it. But where are the ballet twins? Just across the river inside the hollow. Did that hacker's message really come from the hollow? <gasps> Wait! Look above the hollow! That's the top of the ballet twins. So that's it. I'd heard the companion hollow had shrunk recently. <gasps> and that's left the top of the building exposed. So that means Nicole got that bizarro message from there, right? Even if that's true, what was Rain doing in a place like that? Okay, team, first, let's think of a way we can get ourselves up there. We're here. The ballet twins. Ooh. Impressive. Danger. That almost made me jump. <laughs> I don't think we should stick around here. Let's hurry up and find her. Entry into Target Hollow. Ballet Twins area confirmed. 
The ballet buildings were lost to the Hollow ages ago. The lights inside don't work. We'll have limited visibility on this route. Careful. Lights off, candles on. Nicole would approve. We're sleeping better? We're saving money. Everyone okay? I got careless. I didn't think it'd storm us like that. Are... are we back where we started? Let's try to avoid any... unusual enemies. everyone. Lester, the smart building management terminal here is still operational. I can activate this terminal to reveal nearby areas for exploration. are back on here.
Wait a minute. There's a flashlight. Really? Hey, manager! Shine the flashlight on that guy! Active ether reaction lost. It works, but it really drains power. Valve status analyzed. The valve opens when the lock is not smart tech. So unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. Try all the tools you can find. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. Great! The enemy is retreating! lights on we can take advantage of their absence This place twists and turns like a maze. Plus, it's cold and damp. Way worse than all the other hollows. Oh, I hope the kneecaps I just replaced don't rust. I hope you didn't get cheap ingredients, Billy. That's why I stay away from budget restaurants and save my stomach the hassle. Hmm? What's wrong, Envy? Ever since we set foot in here, I feel like someone or something has been watching us. Same! I got goosebumps as soon as we got here! And I keep feeling something slithering around down by our feet! 
<laughs> I just felt it again! Hey, watch the tails! Oh, my bad. Hey, manager, couldn't you tell what was going on in the surrounding area and other hollows? Can you see anything now? Sorry, it's a little hard to do now. Not only is this building full of fissures, the hollow data is outdated. We'll need to collect some new data as we explore. Hang on, what's moving over there? Ethereals, take them out. making me feel kind of sick. Coming in. Let me check. It's no wonder you're able to walk around the building unhindered. But please, stop there. A wolf, Byron. The ballet twins are private property and are currently closed to visitors. I will allow you 30 seconds to explain your presence before I decide whether or not... In short, this place is not currently open to the public, and I... I'm sure I have stressed. Both the floors and one's weapons should be kept in pristine condition, have I not? Sorry, Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry. <sighs> so tired. Ellen, stay on task. Professionalism. Coming. Hmm? Corin? Is that you? Huh? Oh, Miss Nikamara! And the investigator! Corin, do you know them? Yes, Mr. Lycon. They're the nice people who helped me out of the hollow that time. I see. Rena, for now, you may stand down. As you wish. When did you... <laughs> You're quite a perceptive young lady. You almost saw me. She means you were way off, way off, way off. If you aren't mere trespassers, that makes things easier. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We are Victoria Housekeeping. Victoria Housekeeping. Never heard of you. Hey, Ambie. Before I met Corin, I never heard of them either. But you're being so blunt, you'll embarrass them! <laughs> what a considerate young lady. But there's no need. Victoria Housekeeping primarily serves a small number of high net worth individuals in New Eridu and does not aim for popularity amongst the general public. Uh, I feel like we're being looked down on. 
But I can't think of a comeback. Everyone, please allow me to apologize on behalf of my companions. I am the head of Victoria Housekeeping, Von Lycon. We have been employed by the owners of the Ballet Twins to provide maintenance services here today. The owners? But I heard the Ballet Brothers who built them went bankrupt ages ago. You are correct. The Ballet Twins are indeed in a long-term state of foreclosure. The Lemony and Hollow's activity has waned as of late, and the city administration is interested in eliminating this sub-hollow here. My employer expects the building to appreciate in value, which is why he put down a deposit. Investing in buildings inside a hollow... Is that how rich people think? Well, whatever they're thinking. Thanks to that guy, we got to see Corn again. Miss Nakamata, investigator. I'm glad to see you again, too. But what are you doing here? This is the Master's property. The Association shouldn't have any missions here. Uh, well, you see... Corin, the answer's obvious, isn't it? But forget that for now. Do you have anything I can use to kill time? My phone died. I don't think I have... Uh, wait! Ellen, you said the answer is obvious. You mean... <laughs> she means that our guests aren't really investigators. I'm guessing, other than Corin, they've all figured out something is up. There is no need to be so wary. Victoria Housekeeping is duty-bound to only our employers. We have no interest in unauthorized personnel within the Hollows. And not to mention, you help Corin. Moving forward, if you are willing to be truthful with us, we will do our utmost to assist. Well, keeping up the pretense was a real headache anyway. I'm actually a proxy. Well, I didn't expect you to be the legendary proxy Faithen. And you're here to look for a missing friend. Lycon, have you come across anyone while working in the building? As much as we'd like to help you, the official carrot provided to us is outdated and is unable to give us an accurate picture of what's going on inside the building. Psst, sorry to interrupt, but we've got a tricky situation right now. Nicole just called. She says she didn't realize until she got to the landing pad that all members of the Cunning Harris were registered to take the stand. The court requires Billy and the others to attend. So, we gotta take the airship too? But what about helping the manager look for rain? I apologize for eavesdropping, but I have a proposition. What if the proxy works with us? The proxy is looking for someone, and our obsolete hollow data is hindering our work. I believe it would be to our mutual benefit to work together. Then I have no objections. Looks like we'll be relying on you. It should be us thanking you. I am certain Victoria Housekeeping's work will go much more smoothly with your assistance. In any case, considering Phaethon's reputation, I'm certain our master would be pleased to make your acquaintance. For now, however, getting your friends out of the hollow seems to be the more pressing matter. We can head further into the building together after you finish your business.
Hey, Wise. How's it going? Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? Good timing. I just met up with them. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a little jealous you got to chat with them. Okay, all jokes aside, we need to find Rain. Hurry back so we can get ready to enter the hollow. The others are so slow. If they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. Ah, they're coming out. They're coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the defendant in this case, Charles Perlman, arrived at the helipad escorted by authorities. Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. Hmm, huh. fools. A real surprise is yet to come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. Hit the fan? <laughs> Young lady. You've no idea how horrible this city can get. <laughs> Just you wait. Whatever tricks you have up your sleeve, I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Boss! Great. You guys finally made it. <sighs> I'm beat. You're running for so long. How come you look fine, Billy? <laughs> The respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. It boosts energy efficiency during workouts. Hmm? Oh no. I can't switch back to intake mode! I told you not to use that cheap black market junk. Alright, cut it out. Does it really matter if Billy can't breathe? The airship is small anyway, and the air quality isn't great. What's wrong, Anby? Something bothering you? I was just thinking. We left Faith into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? Nekomata knew one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belongs to their master, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service and won't want to work with us again. But don't be silly, Anby. The cutting hairs are first class, I'll have you know. Besides, we have a relationship with Faithen. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about.
Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination? That's fine with me, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear guide, would you be so kind as to look at this map of the ballet twins? As you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A. According to our carrot, we'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. I'll lead the way, everyone. Let's go. We are at your command. Entry into Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though I've been here before. Based on our past experiences, let's start heading toward the lights. Let's get going, Master Proxy. So these guys are here again. Remain calm. Let's continue heading towards the lights. We're getting close, Master Proxy. This light's not the brightest, but it still drove them away. It's safe to proceed now. We've reached the heart of Tower A. You must pass through this door to enter the atrium. The area at the back used to be accessible only to VIPs. We should look around for the verification device to open the door. Verification device? Why can't they just have one? The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here.
What a pain. We can finally open the door. It feels like rich people enjoy making things complicated. <sighs> Precisely why I find this job. These guys again? Keep it up, wise. We're almost there. Watch out, everyone! Master. Security system access interface detected. Please wait. Connection at 30%. Synchronizing infrared camera view. Connection at 60%. For starting camera flash. The camera flash! No wonder they disappeared! Fairy, speed it up! Connection at 100%. System takeover completed. Wow! Everything's so clear now with the infrared camera. Master, you can call this new feature night vision mode. In this mode, you can move your field of view via the camera. While you're moving, the camera flash can keep enemies at bay. You're amazing, Barry! Wise, try moving around. sure is handy. Another door? Let's go check it out. Master Proxy, judging by this guest's body language, it has no ill intent. It wants to thank us for bringing peace to this area. like our judgment was correct. It's smooth sailing now. Loading night vision mode return program. Progress 
99%. 100%. Loading complete. Let's return to EOS for now. We can reconnect anytime we need. Try using night vision mode. Avoid damaging the facilities while eliminating the fury. Uh, that reminds me of me, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, Karen. He's only giving verbal warnings. He won't deduct your salary. Oh, that's not what I'm concerned about. You cannot stop me. Apologies. <sighs> <laughs> while I calculate the next route. Is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, is that so? <laughs> it's happened a few times. Looks like the rumors might be true. Huh? What rumors? Oh, you haven't heard, Proxy? What? Was I not supposed to say anything? Boss's mission brief was so long I didn't read it. But whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. Take care of it? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Ellen, Corin, Keep talking like that and you're going to give people the wrong idea about Victoria housekeeping. Dear guide, allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the ballet twins? I don't think I have. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now, if those visitors still refuse to leave, 
the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to harvest the souls of their visitors. It's an old story, but recently someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. Our master believed letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. So that's the real reason you're here. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers. But at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly close. Since finding Miss Rain is our priority, to avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. away. Will the lights here manage to last until then? A power outage would make this a huge pain. We better hurry. Oh no. The lights are... Hang in there. We'll reach the atrium soon. Mode. I think the flickering's getting worse. We're in the final stretch now, Master Proxy. Try using night vision mode. Enable night vision mode to eliminate the enemies. Approaching the atrium. Let's get this over with quickly. Take advantage. I'll help you. Watch out. More ethereals incoming.
The lights are flickering faster. Let's hurry, everyone. All right. You can rely on us to protect you. This way, please. <laughs> Mind your step now, dear. I'll do my best. Oh my, are you hurt? We're almost there. The atrium is just ahead. Not good. <sighs> Unfortunately, we are a step too late. The automated partition has completely closed. Oh no! We were so close to getting through! Corin, it's a maid's duty to help our guests. You shouldn't look so upset. Do we have any ideas on how to get this door open? There may be a manual switch installed on the partition. One moment, please. Allow me to take a look. No need to bother, Rena. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. That sounds straightforward, but isn't the building your employer's property? Would that really be okay? I didn't expect you to be such a rule-abiding proxy. Master's concern was about the rumor. Besides, who's gonna find out? Reminder, it would be prudent not to cause any structural damage. As the only structure connecting the two buildings, the atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through.